everyone I hope you're looking forward to Christmas and it seems a good idea to work out some designs for Christmas cards that are going to be really quick and easy to paint now I use these cards which you just fold in half they come with an envelope and I actually paint onto this cardy paper and um, see it's got a deckled edge but what I like to do is I will fold that over and so it's very random I can get quite a lot of cards out of that I just rip that paper and then I will fold that again and again and you can see you've got these perfect sized pieces to fit onto your card so that will fit on like that um, that's just perfect so shall we begin with the painting are we all feeling Christmassy I think the robins are just lovely and I've been photographing them this week um, from my studio and um, so we've got a few that we can paint up for Christmas cards now the key to this is that we keep it really simple so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some cadmium red and just keep it a little bit lighter at the top and that side and we really don't want to overwork this then I'm going in with some thicker cadmium keep that nice and bright and whilst that's still a little bit wet there's a bit of white on him here and I'm going to use some intense violet sort of quite watered down comes down his leg and we could put a little bit just there that will bleed into it quite softly and then I'm going to use some rich sepia not too thick and dark and just pop that in here and then we we'll make that more interesting very quickly in a little bit I will show you how and the thing is just don't over complicate it and that little tiny bit on his head there I don't want that to run too much let's just catch that oh, I've got a bit of red there doesn't matter accidents happen okay, I'm just going to paint his beak and his eye and what I'm going to use is a very tiny brush and some Prussian blue and some rich sepia just mix quite thick on this small detailer and let's pop in those eyes so he's got one that's sort of bulging there and then if we come over here it's sort of there and then he's got something in his beak which we won't put because that'll look a bit strange but he's got quite a wide beak there and also these gorgeous legs I think they're so sweet you could use the tip of a bigger brush but I think this just makes it easier this lovely sort of claws and he could be standing I think on a branch of a tree so that's just the dark bit underneath whilst well, so we've got that on there and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of these brushes a silver rake and um, they're really good for these sort of feathery things so I'm going to use some rich sepia and I'm just going to feather up that towel see how easy that is and then I think we'll have a wing that we can't see popping up here because I think that would just make it a little bit more movement and fluff up that sort of comes around there and a little bit of interest on his head and then with a smaller one just going to get some alizarin crimson and just 
darken that side. I think with that smaller one as well, I just put something along the back that's a bit feathery. And that's so easy, it's so little work in doing that. And then just with my little brush, I'll get in some mo, wash that off well. It's a little bit of the intense violet, pretend that could be snow. And then no, he's ruffling his feathers. So I think we put a few little feathers. He's shaking off those lovely red feathers. And then maybe it's snowing. So with my dark blue mix, we can do some big blobs and some tiny ones with just the edge. Onto here. And so they're different sizes, random sizes of snow. Believe it or not, there's not much more to do. I just think get that shape back as it ran a little bit there. That sort of comes up to there. And the only other thing that I've got to do is with my little brush, a little highlight with some white gouache just around his eye. And make it nice and thick. So then it shows up. So what we're going to do is just a tiny, and we can put a little bit of white on the beak. I think it's got a bit of a white feather here, would be nice. And some snow. So like we did the colour dots. Now it's very, very easy to put this card together. I'm just going to use a little bit of copy decks. It comes with an applicator, so really easy. And I'm just going to put a line there, of glue, and a line there of glue. I've got that lovely broken edge from right in there and just press that on. Hold that firm and then I'm just going to take one of these elegant writers, it's a three mil one, and I'm just going to write Happy Christmas. And you can customise these, no, make it your own. Oh, there we are, lovely handmade card to give to somebody special at Christmas. So I hope you've enjoyed and happy Christmas.